yo what it do it's your boy mtz king and i'm back on your screen hope everybody has a great amazing blessed friday and i will catch y'all in a bit though Shit. yo what's up what it do man i'm back like a kid k you know what i'm saying probably sound like i'm full of energy but i'm really not <laughs> like i just woke up right now when i started vlogging and it's literally it's already 2 22 i woke up right now like at, it was i think two o'clock I was even like, oh, damn. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, it was one fifty-five. I think. Five minutes till 2, same thing. Because I fell asleep until like 9 this morning, I believe it was. And I feel like, you know what? I need to start vlogging before I forget, like yesterday. And yeah, so, you know, I got up. I had already took a shower, so I ain't tripping about my shower, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I got up, I changed. I'm wearing my shirt that says, every beast needs a beauty. And of course, my love has the other one that says, every beauty needs a beast, I think. I think that's what it says. And hers has a pink bow, though. Mine has a little, you know what I'm saying, because I'm both. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I had somebody ask me, Am I able to work out right now? And honestly, I'm not able to work out right now because um, since my nerves are damaged, it would just cause more damage to me right now. Um, so I'm not because I had already asked my doctors. Because my, my theory was, you know, I was hoping and praying for the best that the, with the first surgery, everything went good. So I could get back to work. So I could be on my grind working and I was going to get a membership at the gym and um because i've been wanting to get a membership at the gym forever man like i used to go with one of my cousins he used to go to 24 uh 24 hour fitness whatever and then uh what this one this one dude i used to talk to uh i consider him family but then you know he did some shady shit so you know i had to cut him off right there he used to go to the gym too and this was like back in 2000 and i used to talk to him from high school i know him from high school uh but i i thought i cut him off like in 2015 no 14 it was 2014 i had to cut him off but i used to go with him sometimes to his gym which was platinum or platinum i don't know what platinum platinum fitness or whatever the heck that's called the one with the purple shit, man. I don't know, but anyways, I used to go with him there. Oh, so I was just like, you know, I always wanted to get my own membership and stuff, but of course, um, you know, work when I was work, and that's why I kind of even I miss work, guys, because it's like even just the lifting there, it was like I was already doing exercise. Literally, my hands right here, my muscles from right here were already like, you know, getting really, really like, you know, stiff. Not both, but I'm gonna say like more, like harder. And now it's just like damn. <laughs> and you see, I, I even at home I would um I have a medicine ball. For those of you who don't know what a medicine ball is, basically a medicine ball is like where you could lay on the ball and literally do sit ups on there and whatever, or you even like face up way and do push ups. And I used to do that a lot, but like I said, you know when I asked my doctors like. Hey, you know, is it safe for me to work out or, you know, like, go to the gym and stuff? And they were like, nah, it's not um, because, you know, just the simple fact that you're already in pain and stuff is just going to make stuff worse and complicated. So I was just like, nah, I ain't trying to make anything worse or complicated. And I'd be tempted, man. I'd be tempted. I'd be really tempted even just to lay on the floor and do some sit-ups. I'd be tempted because I used to do sit-ups, like, er not every day, but, like, say, Monday, I would... Tuesday, I wouldn't. I would skip a day. And so I miss it, man, because, like, damn, my, my tummy right there, when I sit down, it looks a little, you know, like I'm getting a tummy now. So, and I used to not have a little tummy. I used to be kind of flat, you know what I'm saying? But one thing about me, though, I've always had my lines. Like, already where it divides, like, where it splits up, like, where you get your abs. I've always have had that, um... But shit, yeah, just let me get better, though. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it the best of me, even if it's just working out of my house, man. I, I really don't care. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, uh, 
So I just I just got up right now. I was just like, right, let me get ready. And I was watching one uh, YouTube a couple while I was uh, getting ready, which is the Novel Ready Life, their channel. Um, I love their channel because uh, the guy Jose, like, he's been fighting all his life, and I could relate to that. And he got a transplant recently, though, a love transplant. And so I was watching that, so... If you know y'all ain't subscribed to their channel or y'all looking for new channels, go check out their channel. It's it's dope and amazing, man. Like it literally made me they they the, every time they upload, man, it literally whether you a dude or a chick, trust me, you gonna get teary eyed just by listening to the story. But um, his his wife is Amanda Pena, which is the Pena fam. That's uh, his, that's. Her. Their sisters, uh, the wife of um, of Jose, the wife of Jose and Amanda, their sisters, and they, she has her family channel too. So if y'all ain't y'all ain't linked up to them, y'all go check them out because they're they're dope family. Real talk. Today they actually uploading the spicy noodle challenge that they did on their channel yesterday. And how do I know that? Because I was live on the gram. I mean, they were live on the gram and I was watching them. <laughs> but oh uh, yeah. But now I'm just gonna chill. I'm probably gonna get some drink downstairs or go chill downstairs for a little bit. So I'll catch on a bit though. Yo, what's up, fam? Uh, I just finished eating. I eat barbecue chicken, vegetables, and mashed potatoes. And I feel full. <sighs> My bad. Oh, uh, yeah, I just finished eating. It's already currently. 7.34, um, that is my, actually, vlogging area right there, well, hold on, right there, <laughs> that part right there is my vlogging area, but my mom was in here earlier reading one of my books that they actually gave me for my baptism, but she thought she, she was cool and be gonna be slick and read my thing before me, so she literally moved the chair over here where my other vlogging space is at. Well, right here I have a table right now. This table actually used to be next to me on my bed when I would have my bed on this side. It's like where I have all my medications and stuff and my cream and then my stuff that I put in my in my hair that's all not combed today. Um, Some people were asking me what do I use in my hair because my hair always looks so hard. And I said it in previous videos, I use mocha gel guys. And then I had some, some some of the dudes like send me DMs talking about what cologne do I use. That's my line right there. Um, I have a priority though. This one's a good one, the Burberry. I don't even know the name. I just know it's Burberry. This one I got it. I think uh, the year before last year. This one is actually by Sean John by P Diddy. It's called um, I Am King. It's good this one is one of my all-time favorites that I used since I was like back in middle school elementary and high school chrome no yeah chrome Arizona this one and this is my all-time favorite right here guys oh my god Dunhill the red one because they got red blue and black I tried the black one before too the black one it smells good too my parents got it for me one year, the black one, because they couldn't find this one, so they got the black one. That one's pretty good, but my all-time favorite is this one. <sighs> this just brings back so many memories. Look at that. <laughs> I'm back in them days, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I play, I just crush a lot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, but that one, I use, I've been using that one since I was like, whoo, <laughs> since I was a kid. And I just always loved that one. Um, and one of the other ones that I re that really was like my all time favorite, and I was still I would still sport it if I could find it, which I'm sure I could find it like at the mall. But the Polo Sport, it's in a blue a blue container. Man, that one right there is just whew. that one I used to mess with. Funny story behind that one. My sister had that one, cause I believe. You know, well, my sister is, has her, her, you know, my brother-in-law now and her kids and stuff, but, um, 
that one i believe it was one of her friends like a guy friend not like you know her boyfriend or anything i, think, I believe it was one of her guy friends and one day he ended up leaving it in her bag or something something like that i don't really quite remember but i think it was something like that yeah i left it in her bag or something like that uh because my sister was really into sports and stuff and she was like in middle school high school and stuff and um so her friend had left it in the bag because I, I i believe his girlfriend didn't have her bag or something so so then when my sister was gonna give it to her, he was like, give it to him back. And she was like, he was like, nah, you can just keep it, whatever. So actually the, the Polo Sport one, uh, the blue one that I'm telling y'all, that one, I actually, you know, my sister. And then uh, something like I told my sister, can I borrow some? <laughs> and like, she was like, me and my older brother, like get a spray or two. And that one's really good too though. Um, so y'all, you know, and then the other one that's pretty good too is the Lacoste. Damn, there's I could go on with colognes, cause on, honestly, I'm a cologne freaking, like like I'm a sneakerhead. I'm a cologne addict. Like I love cologne, man. Like I love trying all kinds of cologne. Oh, and then the Versace blue, and the Gucci. Oh, and then the blue the blue Chanel. Oh my God, you, the blue Chanel. That's just that's a wrap. Like just, I'm throwing the mic down. Like that's it. Game over. <laughs> But you know, like um, you the fun fact about that you can actually go to your local CVS or Walgreens and actually I have all them like Versace, the um sh the no not Chanel they got Versace and Gucci I believe, but the sh Chanel I haven't seen any. Chanel usually you gotta go to the mall and get those. Um. But like even like during the holidays, and like it's cool for y'all to stack up, especially like for the girls. Like, you know, for your husbands or your boyfriends or whatever, go to your local, you know, Walgreens or CVS, and they always have the packs. And I'm telling y'all this because I know this. Um, after Christmas, like the day after Christmas, like the which is the 26th, they literally start putting everything on sale. Shit, run to your local Walgreens or CVS, you know what I'm saying, and stack up on them. And when it's your boyfriend or husband. It's birthday, and be like, happy birthday, you know what I'm saying? They don't know the damn difference, you know? They even got a uh, curve and all that stuff, too. Uh, they have that chrome one that I used to. They even have a, a, a guest one, because my brother had gave me one year. I believe it was two years ago for Christmas. He gave me a guest one, because everybody knows I love cologne, man. It, it's like, for instance, a, a lot of girls, I always hear them say, especially the one, uh, my, my baby, she, she sits here and says, man, if you give me some um, a bag of hot Cheetos, you win my heart over. <laughs> so with me, shit, I don't care. I don't care if it's a five dollar cologne, a bootleg version of the real version. Like shit, if it smells good, it's gonna smell good. Oh yeah, my baby did give me uh, the red polo one. I forgot to show you that one. That was somewhere in there too. It's pretty good too. Though. I wore. I told her I had worn it the other day when I went to. It was therapy. It was therapy, and one of the nurses was like. Oh, you smell so good. And I was just like, oh, oh. <laughs> and the only reason I wore it, honestly, is because, like, I'll, I'll be walking, so I ain't trying to smell just, like, like sweat, you know what I'm saying? So that's the only reason why I had on. Because I really, you, I do spray cologne every day, but I, I have to go, like, out on a date with my girl or, like, do something, like, go to an event or a party or something in order for me to spray my cologne. Because otherwise, I'm not going to waste my damn cologne just to be here in the house, you know what I'm saying? For that, my friends, I have this, and, and uh, I don't use the word friends, but I just said that, I don't know why, but um, for that, like, if I just want to be here in my house and spray something that smell good, I use this um, Black by Kenneth Cole. Oh, this one's good. That one's good. I remember one day, I used to, um, I used to carry that one to work. I remember one day being inside um, the thing, I was already changing, and that day, my baby was going to pick me up, so I was changing and shit, and then I started spraying myself, because I was like, I don't want my girl to smell me all, you know. I, I've been all dusty in here and shit, you know what I'm saying, running back and forth, so I'm like, I want her to smell me all dusty, so I sprayed that, and uh, one of the girls that works with me, she was like, man, you smell good, what is that, and I showed her, she's like, man, I need to get that shit from my boyfriend, I started laughing, like, <laughs> and th th that one, actually, I bought it at uh, Walgreens, and that one, I believe that one cost me um, $7.99 or $8.99, I want to say, and the other one that's pretty good, too, it's cool water. That one is it's an old one, but that one's that one smells really nice. <clears throat> so you know what I'm saying? 
to all the ladies, to all the girls out there, you know what I'm saying? If, you know, your boyfriends like cologne or you just want them to smell good. Like I said, hit up your local CVS or Walgreens or even a Walmart or Target. Walmart and Target have all those too. And Target and Walmart actually even carry the, um, the Versace and the Gucci. So, shit, go to your local one, stack up on some, and you ain't got to worry about it when their birthday comes around or even if it's an anniversary. Cause you see, my, my, my theory thing is when like, it's an anniversary, even if it's just a month, a week, whatever, I'll be like, hey, babe, happy anniversary. And you see, she was not used to that, like, happy anniversary stuff. So, she's just like, I, I don't know about She probably thought I was weird or something, but it was just like, hey, man, I'm just trying to show you that I care because, you know... It's hard. A lot of girls always say they don't hear their dudes telling them, like, happy anniversary and shit. And I just try to be different from all the other dudes because at the end of the day, it's like, it's an important day, you know? It's not just any other day. It's an important day because that's the day you got with the person. Whether it was, you know, our dating when we started dating or the, from the day that I actually proposed to her. So it's always like, hey, babe, happy anniversary. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One of our anniversaries actually is the 4th, and the other one is the 15th. And actually, the 15th was supposed to be on the 14th, but the ring didn't get to me on time. No, actually, she was out of town. That's the reason why I couldn't do it on the 14th, because she was out of town. Because when, uh, no? No, 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 I'm tripping. I take that back. Uh, my apologies. No, she wasn't out of town. She was here. But the thing was, I was going to do it on the 14th, but the ring hadn't got to me yet. Because I proposed to her twice. I proposed to her in September, and then I pro proposed to her in November. And you see, this whole thing was supposed to be plotted off different. I was going to get the, uh, I was going to wait actually to December the 14th and do it. And I was going to do it at um, in downtown in the horse carriage and all that. But... My ass was just too anxious, and I can't keep secrets from her. Like, I literally tell her everything, whether even if it's a girl trying to slide in my damn DMs or, you know, something crazy. And, you know, if she wants to get mad at me, like, be mad at me, but don't be be mad at me, but you're going to be mad at me. At least I told you, and I'm not sitting there replying back, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to be mad at me for telling you, like, then I don't know, but that's just me. I'd rather... Have my conscience clear and be like, okay, you know, some girl tried sliding in my DMs, but I didn't slide in hers. You know, here's my password or here's the screenshots, whatever. Because at the end of the day, like, I, I don't have anything to hide, honestly. Like, even, like, on TikTok and all that, I'd be having, you know, like, oh, my God, like, oh, this and this and that. Like, and I just, I just delete stupidity stuff that I don't want to deal with because it's like, there ain't no point in writing back and talking shit, especially to a female. I'm not going to step down to a female's level. Like, if you cannot read right there that I have a wife and kids, like, you're crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Woohoo, my bad. Damn. <laughs> Baby, are you thinking about me? Are you talking about me? Damn it, you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, yeah, um, yeah, guys, uh. That's just the type of dude I am. Like, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be straight up with you. I'm not going to hide anything from you. Because the whole point of being in a relationship is trust. And just so your, your, you know, your significant other knows to trust you and knows that you're not. Like, she, she literally knows I'm not that type of person. Like, she knows that for a fact. Because the old me, this is how I know I'm in love. Because the old me, I would have been just like whatever i'm gonna do me i don't get two f's you know what i'm saying but you know when love is love you know your damn boundaries you know you're not gonna do any sudden moves to mess that up because at the end of the day you know you could lose something that it took forever to come your way you know what i'm saying it's like i wasn't looking for love it's like love just found me because that's just how it happened and this was the first time because the other times i was always like Oh, yeah, da, da, da. I'm going to go on a, a damn chat line, whatever, and try to get somebody's number just to talk to them, whatnot. That was the old me. But the new me is just like, nah, you know, I know my boundaries, I know my limit, I know I'm not going to mess this up because I know I got what I got and I know I love what I love. So, you know what I'm saying? There's always a twist to life, guys. But anyways, though, man, that's enough about all that. But I'm going to see y'all back in a bit, though, because... 
Yeah, my boy got to go take a leak, so I'll be back, though. Yo, what's up, what to do, squad? I am currently just sitting my butt on my floor. Just right here chilling. I don't know, I've been deciding, do I want to cut my hair off? Or should I just leave it the way it is? Shoot, if it's for me, everybody knows I'd rather be bald than to have hair, honestly. But then, you know, my hair grows every three days, so it's like, ugh. It's like, whether I have hair or don't have hair, I still gotta cut the damn, my hair and my sides off. Um, I've just been debating about that. Oh. Oh. But actually, I didn't want to go bald, bald. I just wanted to cut it, like, half of, half of the top off. But then I'm just like, I don't know, because, um, I don't know. I guess I'm already used to, you know, having my hair when I come in, like, to the side and stuff. I really don't know, guys. So that's just what I've been debating on all this rest of the time that I've been here. And then I've just been watching videos on YouTube, like I say. I go back to see who's posted or who's live. And, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Try to show everybody some love. <clears throat> That's just the type of person I am, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and today was crazy because um, this is how I say life is too damn short. Like, you don't know. One day you're here, the next day you could be gone. Um, some dude I used to go to school with back in middle school. Him and his girlfriend, they were, uh, they were actually, um, gunned down, murdered, you know what I'm saying? And they still haven't said why, or they haven't found a suspect or any, none of that stuff. The only thing that it did say on the news was that some neighbors apparently heard, like, a a loud banging, and next thing you know, they just heard five gunshots go off. And then when the police got there to the apartment complex, they searched every apartment, and they went into their apartment, and they found them dead. And I was just like, man, that's crazy, because it's like when you think about life in general. It's like whether, you know, if you get into an argument with your friends, family members, or, you know, your boyfriend or your girlfriend or husband or wife or even mother and father is like you know you just don't know you know when your life will be taken away or when your life will just end completely <sighs> so it was just like man, it's just like crazy like because I've been I've been getting news like every year now that somebody whether I went to high school with or middle school you know passes away and I'm just like damn like that's crazy like you know I know people love to party like I said I love to dance I it's shit if it's for me take me to the club every day <laughs> or make it make a club where you dance every day you know what I'm saying uh I love to dance, guys. I love dancing, whether it's bachata, break dancing. You know, I used to rave, freak dance, all that. I used to do all that way back in my days. And when I'm saying way back in my days, I literally mean way back when I was... I started dancing when I was little. I was a toddler. But when I started learning how to break dance and all that, I was basically, like, six years old. And I started raving and all that when I was, like, 10 and 11. So... You know, I grew up always dancing and stuff. I remember going to the parks with one of my older cousins and, you know, break dancing and stuff. But, um, yeah, life is just not promised, you know. And a lot of people don't see that. They want to make it seem like they're going to be here forever. A lot of people make it seem like, you know, they're going to live forever. Like, I'm sorry, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry to burst anybody's bubbles. So, like, I'm trying to say, try not to ever go to sleep mad at somebody or have anger towards somebody. Because at the end of the day, you don't know if it could be your life taken away or their life taken away. 
And will there ever be a, I'm sorry, or can you please forgive me? You know what I'm saying? And I feel bad because, you know, they have twin daughters. It's like, you know, they had twin daughters, so it's just like... I Honestly, I don't know, actually, though, if, you know... I don't know if, you know, that was... I know I knew he had twin daughters, but I didn't know if it was with the girl that he was with now or probably had a... I'm not sure, so I'm not going to even, like, get all into details. Cause I don't really know that, like, this dude, I usually... I, I used to go to um, middle school with him, and he was, like, the tallest dude that I could remember in that school. Besides this was this other one dude, but he was, like, a tall dude. So I'm just like, man, like, that's just so crazy, like... And it's bad because it's like, you know, his family's going through pain and, and the girl's family is going through pain. And then you got two little girls involved. So it's just like, damn, that's where it just gets all like crazy. And I, I even seen that this one dude, this other than one dude, um, he literally posted on his Facebook. And that's said, I really don't go on Facebook unless I get a message from somebody or something like that. My bad, I had to switch rooms, but um, I'm actually in the restroom. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, you even seen this on one of this other dude that I went to high school with. Um, he had posted that somebody broke into his parents' house. I'm just like, what? Like the hood is just literally falling apart. And when I mean the hood, I mean East Dallas, because that's where all this stuff is going on at. I'm just like, whoa, my hood is ghetto dangerous too you know what I'm saying but it's just like you know it's crazy man I don't know but it's just this world is coming to a crazy crazy <laughs> chapter page whatever you want to talk about a year it's just getting crazier by the minute in a day people are just losing brain cells losing screws in their head and I don't know, man, but all I can say is I send my condolences to both families and may God protect the the two little girls because that must be tough and hard. I don't know, but I'm just like, damn. It's like, when is all this going to stop? But, of course, you know, I think about it this way. Lives are taken away, but new lives are actually brought into this world every minute second by the day you know what i'm saying it's just kind of both ways but yeah anyways though guys i hope everybody had a great amazing blessed day and i will see y'all tomorrow because i have to start getting ready and i have to edit this video and i have to see what i'm gonna wear for church tomorrow because i literally forgot today was friday and tomorrow saturday so gotta get my stuff ready for church tomorrow so Anyways, though, I'll see y'all tomorrow, and I hope y'all have a great, amazing, blessed day. Oh, um, hold on, one more thing, too. People started asking me, like, hey, is it true what you posted that Ariana Grande is coming again? Yes, yeah, she's coming again. I didn't make them dates up, guys. Like, she literally, I was freaked out when I seen that, too, yesterday. She barely posted it yesterday. And tickets are going on sale on the 26th. And the reason why the 26th is because that's her birthday. Um, and she will be here in Dallas on December the 9th. A lot of people are asking me, too. And D.D. King, are you going to be there? I can't promise, but I'm going to try my best. Because like I said, I wasn't there this last time. that She was just there really well in May. I didn't get to go to that one. So keeping my fingers crossed that hopefully I can go back to work and, you know, get on my grind, make this money, you know, and get my tickets. I can go see her, though. <laughs> but if, if I do get my ticket, trust me, I'll be YouTube will be the first ones to know that I got my ticket. <laughs> um, one thing I am now I'm gonna say that for probably Sunday's video. But anyway, so I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, join the team, join the squad. With that being said, I'm out. Chill.